Thus said the Lord, in the latter days, I will reveal that man of sin. Man meaning plural. I will reveal that man of sin. That man of sin is being revealed now, meaning all the lies and deception that your grandparents believed, the people before you believed, that you you have the power to research, but you, ch you still choose to believe it. This is the problem with people today. We have the power, thanks to the Most High, to reveal the lies, or, or should I say research, my bad. We have the power to research the lies that our people was told before us. But no, nah, what do we do? We believe the same lies that they believe. Leave Caesar what is Caesar's. Back in the day, Caesar used to make things like sports and everything else to distract you from what Caesar was doing. Back in the day, Caesar used to make things like sports and everything else to distract you from what, what they was doing. Who is Caesar today? It's your so-called government. What do they do? They use things to distract you so you don't see what's going on. So you don't see the war that's going on out there. Oh, uh, Will Smith's wife is, is sleeping with somebody else. Uh, Kodak Black did this. Drake did that. Oh, Drake's new album's coming out. All these things are distractions, man. It's okay. You want to enjoy your life, fine. You like entertainment, fine. Sports, you like it, fine. But it's distractions from what you really need to be focused on. That's all it is. And that's all it is. And people laugh at the fact that entertainers are playing characters. And they fake, they kill off those characters. Not the person, the character. You tell people this, ah, oh, there's no way that happens. Ah, oh, why ain't there a way that it happens? What makes you think it's not a way that it happens? You're dealing with Hollywood. Why can't they? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they do it? Again, the Most High said he's going to reveal that man of sin. What does this mean? That means all the lies that the so-called elite have been telling you will be revealed. But you guys can laugh it off all you want or believe the lie like your ancestors did. Or you can actually do research. Let me see. This motherfucker lied about Christopher Columbus and everything else. What the hell else is he lying about? But we don't want to do that, do we? Why don't we want to do that? Because we love the entertainment, right? We love the fucking... Um, the people, the idols that they have put before you. It even says, do not worship idols. That's why. God already uh, 20,000 steps ahead of you. Why do you think God says don't worship idols? Because he already knew the satanic leaders of the world would put out idols for you. Your so-called Tupacs and Drakes and all these things. They're fucking idols, man. They're not real. They're characters. Everybody claim, ah, oh, Kobe Bryant is dead. Then where's he at? Why ain't I seen his face in the casket? Tupac's dead. Why ain't I seen his face in a casket? Where's his? Why? Why? Nipsey Hussle. Where's his cat? Where's his face? Why is it so hard for somebody that famous to be somebody to take a picture of this guy in his casket? Why? I called it. I said they're not gonna show a picture of Kobe's face in the casket. What happened? They didn't do it. I said the same thing with Nipsey Hussle. They're not gonna show Nipsey Hussle's uh, face in the casket. What happened? They didn't do it. It's funny how that fake rope, that noodle-looking plastic leg. But everybody claimed that was Nipsey Hussle. How are you pushing on Nipsey Hussle's chest that's supposed to be bleeding with white gloves and you don't have blood on it? But when you tell somebody these things, they'll laugh it off. But they'll bleed anything the government tells them. But yet they still can't explain to me how a white glove has no blood on it. Explain. See, people are in so much in their feelings that they're not in touch with reality. Because they don't want to believe that Nipsey Hussle and all these other people might actually be part of the elite. Or maybe they, if it's one or the other. Either the elite killed them off for doing right or they're part of the elite. My guess is this with Nipsey Hussle. Where is the blood when you're pushing on a chest that's bleeding? I'm still waiting for that. I'm waiting for somebody to prove how you scientifically can push on somebody's bleeding chest with gloves and there's not a drop of blood. I'm still waiting for somebody to explain how you pull Tupac out of a car and there's not a drop of blood on the ground. And then when they do the crime scene, it's a hatchback little station wagon. It's not even the same car. But y'all fell for that. Well, back then we didn't have inter In two we miles, take exit six towards St. Bernard. 
back then we did not have um uh what do you call it social media like that so i give people a pass back then like you really you it's, it's, it was harder to decipher right but if you go back and look at the tupac crime scene not the one that pictures not the one that they show you in the pictures but the guy actually giving you the uh crime scene report of what happened it's not even the same car don't even have rims on it but when you tell people these things they don't want to believe that because they believe everything the so-called if it's not being said by the elite then it's a lie that's how most people are i didn't hear it on the news it's got to be a lie same thing with these cop killings you really think a cop is going to kill somebody that's recording him oh i see you recording me but i'm going to kill him anyway y'all really believe that all that shit is to stir up racism and shit, man, to keep people distracted. And it, just like the locks versus dipset. And then what happened? New York shut down. Funny how they threw that in there at that convenient time, or is that just another coincidence? The problem is you got to unplug from their entertainment. If you don't, then you're going to be distracted by it. You're still, you're still, you're still, it's okay to, I guess, enjoy like sports and shit like that, but you can't take it to heart, man. You can't, it's not real. I'm telling y'all, it's not real, man. It's just not, it's entertainment. Whenever money's involved with something, you it's always gonna be something crooked about it. But I get why people don't wanna believe. In half a mile, take exit six towards St. Bernard. I get why people don't wanna, it's hard to believe, I get it. But I'm telling you, man, the more you do research on these so-called, what they lie about, the elite lie about, the more you're gonna see, damn, there, there's no way all this shit could be coincidences. I mean, they did lie to you about where you came from. They Take told, exit six. They told you that your history started on a slave boat. We know that's a lie. You was already here. You know what I mean? How much In more shit? Mile, use any lane to turn left onto West Mitchell Avenue. How much more shit have they lied about? What about the moon landing? All these things, man, that's all the elite do is lie. They are the father of lies. It even says that in the Bible. Use any lane to turn left onto West Mitchell Avenue. But then somebody said they researched it. They said, hey, I researched it. You lying. And, and, I, and, I'm not, and I'm not against the other dude that was on there. You know what I mean? He's cool with me too, but you lying, bro. You saying you researched the videos. No, you didn't because they recent. I've been down that rabbit hole. That means you must have seen the videos a while back, right? Well, that can't be because the videos just now came out about Kobe Bryant being Miles Garrett. How the fuck you Miles Garrett that fucking big and jumping and doing shit like Kobe Bryant? You got the face and the voice and you talk like Kobe Bryant. But you, if you tell people that, oh, there's no way. Because they don't want to believe that they've been lied to. That's just what it is. Just like when you found out wrestling was real. It was hard for you to set, just like when you found out Santa Claus wasn't real. Yeah, wrestling wasn't real, my bad. All I'm saying is you cannot believe nothing you see by these fucking elite people, man. A lot of times the cop killing shit is something they put there. When it goes worldwide, it's something that they probably put there. Now, th does that mean that racial cops don't kill people? No, I'm not saying that, but you don't hear about it worldwide. Like somebody- In a quarter mile, turn right onto Vine Street. Somebody right now in Cincinnati probably got killed last night by a cop or some shit. And you didn't hear nothing about it. But when it comes to uh, Trayvon Martin or certain situations that they stage shit, everybody in the world hears about it. It's funny how that happens, huh? And the cop done it right in front of the cameras. But he didn't grab the phone or nothing to destroy the evidence. I'm going to commit murder right in front of everybody. Get the fuck out of here, dog. It's, not, it's, it's, it's put there to make people fight against each other or distract people. Or both. And then next thing you know, you hear about some war or some shit or some some type of um, what do you call it? Some type of um, law that right passed. On Divine Street. Every time something big happens, Jada Pinkett and Will Smith argue. Then some law passed. They distract you, man. Caesar been doing this shit. Caesar is basically your government. Back in the day, it was uh, Caesar of the Bible, you know, a Roman leader. He that's why they made the gladiators and shit to distract people from what Caesar was really doing. It's the same thing. Because it's the same people. It's the same empires that run the shit, man. But you can't tell people that, man, because they're Continue in love. Continue for two miles. They're in love with their so-called slave land or slave master. And, I, and that goes for all races of people. It ain't just black people. It's all people who are in love with the, the, um, the so-called fake world that the so-called elite have created.
Another reason why the Bible say don't love the world. If you love the world, the love of God is not in you because the world is evil. Not meaning you can't go out and look at nature like I love nature, but the world of like rap and all that shit, all that bullshit, all that distraction shit. And if you got kids, it's not going to be good because you're, you, you should be researching this shit so you can say, hey, that right there, that's not right. That's a lie right there. But if you just, if you're going to believe just like your parents believe, you know what I'm saying? Your kids are going to fall right in line. You still believe sports are 100% legit? I don't know what to tell you, man. They not. They not 100% legit. You're a damn fool if you believe that. Funny how they, they another thing they do, they'll, they'll build up some type, sometimes they'll build up black characters. Like, they'll build them up real big, and then they'll crush them on um, Black History Month. It'll be his demise. They did it to Cam Newton. They did it to Deontay Wilder. And uh, they did it to Mike Tyson. They build this guy up to be indestructible. Nobody can fuck with him. And then people start loving the guy and everything. They crush him on February, Black History Month. Now it's in the history books of Black History Month and everything. It's a mockery. Paul Walker. What was his name? Brian? You know, on Family Guy, Brian and Brian the dog died in a red car. And then Paul Walker dies in a red car. But, you know, these are just coincidences to y'all, man. Y'all yeah, y'all y'all believe that the government don't lie to you. And that's sad, man. We might be at World War III right now and motherfuckers worried about Jada Pinkett and fucking Will Smith and what they doing. This is why it's dangerous to fall in uh, line with that fucking entertainment. Okay, you see it, you can enjoy it, but don't be captivated by the shit, man, because a lot of times it's put there for a reason, man. Like whenever you see something something else the next big thing let's say the next big story um bill cosby did this or that something's gonna be next and and you gotta watch out okay why are they pushing this what are they trying to keep me from looking at there's gotta be something else going on that's why they put that out there this is why the celebrities get paid they get paid to deceive and distract y'all but y'all love these people so much and, and, and you really believe that they really made it just off of talent alone nah you can't make it off of talent alone. And this is why your so-called rappers are paid to push ignorance to your kids. What rapper is telling your kids some some good ass shit that actually is in the limelight now? They, they, they blackball them. They don't let them in. They let the other ones in to say drink lean and shit. And I'm being honest, man. Y'all think it's some bullshit? Y'all think it's just something that's just say, being said or, yeah, I know this. Okay, if you know it, how you going to react to it, though? Are you exposing it to, or are you just saying it's some bullshit, laughing it off? Because if you know something and you don't attack it and expose it to, then you're just letting it uh, breathe. You're, you're letting it live. You're letting a lie live. It has to be exposed by everybody. Not just one person can expose something and then that's it. No, everybody got exposed to shit. Everybody got exposed to these leaks, man. But it is what it is, man. They can believe what they want, man. But I'm still waiting for them to show me Kobe Bryant in a casket, though. You know, how how the fuck they make a, um, a, 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 on Saturday Night Live, I think, a cartoon of Kobe dying in a helicopter. And then what happened? He died in a helicopter. How? And then you got G Gematria channels that put that shit down to a T with numbers. They, they basically type in certain numbers and it adds up to shit like Kobe Bryant equals... 77 or some shit like that and then helicopter equals this and that and it all ties into the storyline of what happened how does that happen I don't believe in coincidences that fucking much man but it is what it is y'all I'm about to get up out of here and watch this game you know I pulled over to a uh, I'm going to a Bearcats game and uh, that's all I had to say man I just I just don't like what people laugh and, and, and act like the um the, this shit ain't going on man because what you're doing is you're allowing the elite to keep lying and deceiving more and more people, including your kids. But the other thing I don't like about it is, did you even do research? Like, if you're going to say something is not true, do your research first. If you say, Le uh, there's no way that Miles Garrett is Kobe Bryant. Ah, did you do research first, though? Or are you just going to say that it's not true? That's my issue. Do your research. Then see, okay, you're right. It's, it, I mean, I don't believe it is. But if you just laugh it off, like, hi, that's not true, 
that that's part of the problem with people today. They don't even want to research something first. Anything I hear, even if I hear, even if I hear, oh, Miles Garrett is Kobe Bryant, let me research this first. I research first. I don't just say, yeah, I'm sure it is. No, I'm a researcher first before I come up with a conclusion because I don't want to be, I want the truth. I want the truth. I don't want what I feel. You know, grown men feel the sports aren't real. I don't want to, I don't want to believe that sports aren't real, but by doing a lot of research, I'm starting to see that the shit is not real and it's hard to accept. But it's better to accept the truth than to live a, a lie. Kind of like if a girl cheats on you, you don't want to accept that. Nah, she ain't cheat on me, man. But she really did. But you, it's better for you to accept the fucking truth than the lie. But most people, what they going to do? They going to accept that lie because it feels better to them. It's what they're comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's going on with these lies that the government be telling us in the fucking elite. The satanic ass elite, man. So I'm going to let y'all go, man. Um... But um, my thing is this, man. They didn't even research what I said. They just debunked it. And that's how I know that it's some bullshit. Like, you didn't even research it first. You could have said, let me get back to you on this. Let me do some... They didn't even do that. They just automatically, by default, that's bullshit. But it's your life. It's your mind. You know what the Bible say, though? The truth shall set you free. So by you being bound by lies, like, my team lost, man. I'm mad for... 10 days or uh, tw 10 months. My team lose up. Uh, they probably couldn't lose win because Vegas and the, the money or whatever. You know, shit like that. Or, oh man, that cop killed that black guy. I'm going to do my research. Feet. Turn right onto Corey Boulevard. And so, man, we, they, 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 the cops are killing us and, and, and I, I don't like different races of people and all this bullshit. I, I don't, I'm racist now and all that. That shit makes you not free. But if you know the truth, man, more than likely they probably put that shit out there to make people fight against. You know the truth. It sets you free, man. But go ahead. Believe the lies, man. Believe the lies of, you know, um... Take the next right onto Corey Boulevard. Talent gets you in the fucking industry and all that. Believe what you want. All I know is I'm a free, happy person because I do my research and God shows me a lot of things that they lie about. So it is what it is, man. And I thank God for me knowing the truth or even having the um, the um, the desire to seek the truth. Anything I hear from the elite, being pushed by the elite, I always I always study it first. I always, you know, research first. I don't just go by what they said. And that's the problem with us people. We just go by what they say. So therefore, we stay bound up in their fucking lies, man. But y'all have a good day, man. 800 feet, turn right onto Euclid Avenue. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say, man. It is what it is, man. Uh, talk to y'all some other time. Got to find a way to park somewhere. Shit.